in chapter two, we are discussing measurement and units and how to convert from metric system to English system. And of course, science is doing measurement every day. In doing research, we are continuously doing measurements. So as you know, most of the world, most of the world are using metric system. Canadians have already switched to metric system. In this country, in hospitals, they are using metric system mostly. And pretty much, we switch to metric system. So we need to learn how to convert from the British system of measurement and units to metric system. So if you are measuring your height or measuring a distance between two points, is it fair to say that you end up with a number and immediately after the number, you must mention a unit. For example, a distance can be 35 meters and the unit for measuring volume is liter. So a volume of a, let's say a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee could be 0.25 liter. And if you are measuring, let's say, uh, weight of a meat package, it could be 225 pounds. And if you're measuring time, you write the amount of the time, 3.4, immediately you mention the unit. So if you, and this is a common error students make in doing calculations, they come up with a number, they don't write the unit. So in measurement, a unitless number doesn't mean anything. Definitely show the units. So metric system, which is used by the world, by everybody on, uh, I mean, most countries. And it's used in scientific publications. It's based on 10. That means if you say one meter, the next unit is decimeter and one meter is 10 decimeter. And when you look at one decimeter, it is 10 millimeter. So you see factors of 10 in different units of metric system. So these are typical metric system. Now the system that we are talking about where met, which is coming from international unit, SI unit, which means the standard international unit, defines certain metric system unit. For example, for measuring the length, you can measure the length in meter, in centimeter, in decimeter, but international system is using only meter. So if you're writing a scientific paper, you don't, you're not using millimeter. You are not explaining in decimeter. International system converts and explains measurement by using meter only. In other words, if you want to talk about the thickness of your hair, one strand of the hair, you convert the micrometer or, or millimeter or centimeter, all of them are converted and explained in terms of meter. And international system, if you're talking about volume, metric system is using liter, as I unit for measuring the volume is cubic meter. 
how do these things relate together? Do you read your book? Also during your exam, I'm giving you a table which shows relation between these two so you can convert them together. I don't expect you to memorize these tables. You're available, you're at your access during the exam. Also, when you are doing the homework, discussions, lab quizzes, feel free to go to Canvas, go to files, and find the exam table. Use this, this table a lot, so you get used to it during the test. If you are familiar with the tables, exam tables, you won't make mistakes. For some of you who don't have a book and you want to do conversions, you use the table on Canvas. You go to files and you see exam table. By the way, when you get stuck, when you try to do one of these and you don't know how to do it, you can't find it, don't hesitate to write it on discussion board of the Canvas. Somebody is going to answer it. Many students have already started helping each other by responding to the questions of other students on the discussion board. So if you're talking about time, metric system is using seconds, but of course you can explain time in seconds, minutes, hours. International system is using seconds between these three units, hours, minutes, and seconds, as I unit is using seconds. And for measuring the temperature, we are measuring temperature in Fahrenheit in this country. Metric system, the unit for metric system is Celsius. And this I unit is Kelvin. How do these three systems relate together? I'm going to explain it in this chapter. You learn how to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And you learn how to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. And we do a lot of practice. And you have homework and quizzes, which you are going to practice. So this is, really if you are going to compare meter stick and yard stick, do you see that yard is a little bit less than meter. So one meter is a little bit this much, this much, more than one yard. But if you are doing approximation, you want to see five yards, how much is it? So you can say it's at least five meters, uh, well, four point something meter. It's a little than, less than five, maybe four and a half. But you learn how to convert these two together in this chapter. So one meter 39.4 inches, yard is simply 36 inches. So if it is 36 inches. So this is the metric system. One meter is 100 centimeter. How much is one centimeter? One centimeter, let's look at your finger. Look at the nail of your finger. Maybe your... Uh, smallest finger, depending on the size of your hand. Generally, uh, let's say thickness of your nail is an approximation of one centimeter. And how much is one inch? How does one inch relates to centimeter? You see 2.54 centimeters is one inch. So that's relationship. But I give you table to convert these two we're going to do a lot of conversions in this chapter. So if we are measuring the volume, we use liter in metric system. And in the British system that we are using, you're using quart. So do you see one quart is 946 millimeter? One liter is a little bit more, it's 1,000 milliliter. However, if you are doing approximation, you have an idea that 
one quart is almost one liter. A little bit less, but it's almost one liter. And you have an idea that one liter is 1,000 milliliter. And if you are doing mass measurement. So we want to measure the weight of this chocolate. We are using analytical balance in the lab. We are using a digital balance. This is the type of balance we have in our lab. And you're going to see in our videos, we are using this type of balance. So it's giving you the mass. What is the unit? Grams. That's for metric system. This chocolate is, is 23.089 grams. So go guys, go ahead and try to answer these questions. Do these make sense to you? Do this make sense? Do you have any question? Wonderful. Great, thank you. If there is no question, I go to the next slide. Yeah, the, we do start from scratch. So if you don't have any background of chemistry, or you took chemistry 20 years ago, and you forgot, I'm going to start from scratch, make sure, give you the background to understand things that we are talking about. So next slide. Go guys, go with the game. Excellent progress. Perfect. Do these make sense, guys? Any questions? Anybody, any questions? 